Hello and welcome to another video by the Ministry of Miniatures and today I'm going to be showcasing my Finnish continuation war army and um, as you can see there's quite a lot um, I've done and I'm going to take you through it shortly. So first up I've got the officer, um, I've done his two officers so that I can pull off some SMG um, assistance to go with them should I want or run them to as a both as officer units or individual on, on their own. Um, so that's my mix. I then have four rifle squads. I've got two here on this side and two on this side. So each of the rifle squads has um, an SMG for the NCO. It then has six riflemen. And then at the back it has um, an LMG and a rifle loader. I've got that four times. These are Warlord 28 mil metal um, finish continuation troops. Really nice detail and they come out really nice. And as you can see, I've put the um, helmet decals on just to make them stand out as Finnish and, and make them a bit different from potential early war German. And then as I said, I've got exactly the same. So I can run four, um, Finnish rifle teams or if I split the officers I can run them as two different platoons. Next I've got the Sisu squad which is uh, all SMGs generally run as veterans really good for outflanking um, if you come up on the rear of um, an advancing army I can attack and have a load of SMG veteran troops basically attacking and having some really good damage against those troops. Um, and that is my basic infantry units uh, for my continuation war. Let's have a look at some of the other specialist units. So Finland wouldn't be Finland without its special rules and the use of snipers. So I've actually got a nice pair of snipers. So if I did want to split them into two reinforced platoons, I've got two snipers, one for each of the two rifle squads with the two officers. Um, but I've also got the White Death as well, which just needs a little bit of finishing off to get him painted. The reason I haven't done that is because I'm also doing a winter finish army, which is in the process of being painted as we speak. So let's see what's next. So here I've got the Finnish flamethrower uh, with a marker to show the flamethrower. I'm gonna use that in a battle report to, um, when I use the flamethrower, just to show the six inches needed for the flamethrower and here I've got the Panzer Shrek that with the continuation war they can take just to add some anti-tank power to the infantry army then there's a light mortar which is quite handy just for moving forward and laying down a little bit of suppress and fire and again sticking with the theme of being able to run two reinforced platoons I've got two medium machine guns um, so they can help support uh, should I run as two different platoons. Uh, and then the medium mortar here. So again, you can see the decals on the helmets uh, and that always works really well to make sure you can start to target other armies and make sure they keep moving so they don't stay in one place. Uh, and then finally, I've got a nice anti-tank rifle. So it's um, quite a nice little piece. So that's the support units, let's go on to artillery. So first up is the 36 Bofors anti-tank gun or the Finnish 37 Pusk. I don't know how it's pronounced, but someone can let me know. Um, but a really nice little um, artillery piece. As you can see, I've put some log at the front and then some spent artillery casing, um, but really nice um, small piece to go on the table. Next up is the Finnish 20 ITK or the 38 anti-tank um, gun, anti-aircraft gun. Um, again, quite a nice piece. You can see from how I've mounted it, um, it fits in really nicely with the theme of the army. Uh, you get the, the, the gunner um, and then a couple of assistants. For, one's obviously checking the details and one's got another ammunition box. Um, but that goes really nicely with the theme of the army. So next up is the Finnish Army 105 or the 33 Howitzer. 
um, really nice. This is a really lovely piece. Um, again, Warlord metal, and it's really heavy. heavy. I've uh, mounted it on an oval base, and as you can see there, I've put a log at the front and some nice bit of flock just to add to it. There's a map, um, and I've put some extra detail in just to add to the look of the team. But again, their uniform and the artillery piece really fits in with the theme of my Finnish army. And this gives them some heavy firepower. Okay, next on to the tanks. And first up is the Finnish T-28, which has twin turret and it's a light tank. Um, so as you can see there, I've put some weathering around the tracks probably gone a little bit heavy on it but I wanted it to stand out and um, look like that they've been fighting a campaign against the Russians um, through the mud and the grime. So quite a nice tank with the two uh, guns on the two turrets. So next is the Finnish 130 flamethrower tank. So as you can see on the front, it has a flamethrower and a medium machine gun. Um, so it gives the finish the ability to have a vehicle flamethrower for that extra distance um, and a bit more firepower to really take out any opponent really that comes up against them. But really nice, small, light tank, but hard hitting. Next up is the Stug, which was uh, given to the Finnish by the Germans, which is exactly what we've got here. A nice Finnish Stug. Uh, again, heavy weathering just to show um, some of the weather conditions, even though it's the continuation war in the summer. I wanted to have the feel of um, veteran, muddy, hard hitting uh, force. And again, the Stugs have a low profile, which really helps with getting cover. Um, heavy anti-tank gun um, and a medium machine gun on top so um, very nice little tank. So next up is the BT-42 assault gun so this is a Warlord resin tank it's very nice very heavy um, but again I've put the camouflage for the Finnish army on it so it um, fits in with the whole theme of all the rest of the tanks um, that are painted that way. And here you can see them together with their Finnish camouflage. Next I'm going to move on to the Soviet captured tanks. So next up is a captured Soviet Komsomolet, which is a bit of a troop transporter, a bit of a tractor and it can tow artillery. Um, it is classed as open top and it has a machine gun, medium machine gun on the front. So. Uh, really good for getting troops up and supporting them with some machine gun, um, but a little bit vulnerable by being open top, but a really nice uh, walled resin piece. Um, and it goes really nicely with the army. And again, uh, the weathering on the tank just to help it make it look used, battered and a bit captured. So next up is the BT-6, or it can be run as different variants, including the BT-20 or the BT-10, I think, with the flamethrower. So you can have different armaments on the top as well as a medium machine gun uh, in, in the hole. Uh, and you can see um, it's a nice um, wheeled vehicle, armoured car, which goes nicely with the army um, and was captured by the Finnish and used uh, as part of their uh, attacking group. So. Okay, another nice resin piece by Warlord. And then lastly, I have got a captured T-34-85, uh, which is a medium tank, uh, has damage value of nine, um, and I have heavy uh, anti-tank gun on there, and it's got coaxial and hole-mounted MMG. So, um, quite a good little piece of kit, um, even though it is captured. Uh, I need the silver decals on there to point out that it is actually a Finnish tank or Soviet tank in Finnish service. 
So again, another nice tank that just fits in with the theme of the army. And there we go, overview of the whole army. And then lastly, I've just got these three tanks that I just need to, uh, three trucks, sorry, that I just need to finish off, um, which are three Mercedes trucks that have been uh, sold to the Finnish army by um, the German army. And as you can see there, they're just some sort of matchbox Lego um, cheap trucks I bought for eBay and I've sprayed them up and I just need to do the weathering and put some decals on them. Okay, and then what I just wanted to quickly show was the uh, winter army that I'm working on. So as you can see, I've used um, mainly Soviet winter troops just because I wanted to have the different um, feel to what many people do, which is using the Germans. Uh, I didn't want to have the straps on the back, but what I have done is given all of them uh, helmets, which are the Finnish helmets. So I can again put the skull and crossbones on the front to really make them stand out as Finnish and give them a lot of German weapons and some packs that make them a bit different to the Soviets. And then I've also got um, the winter Soviet SMG squad, which I just am playing around with to make them to be the Sisu squad. And I've also then got two squads of ski troops, again, for more outflanking and an officer with ski as well. So. That is work in progress on my Finnish winter army. So, I hope you like the army. Please uh, give me a uh, comment, like, share and subscribe and let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see next. Um, I'll be using these in a battle report soon, so hopefully they'll do okay. Um, I think if I run them as veterans, they should be quite hardy. Anyway, take care and see you all soon.